all right guys welcome back to paris Watts. okay guys so i am super excited if you read the title then you already know why so i definitely kept this um to myself uh, i mean people in my family know about it of course and my friends but i have not shared it with my subscribers because i really don't But anyways, right now I'm at CVS, as you can see. Today is March the 24th, the day after my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Um, and I am getting my COVID test. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so like I said, um, as you can tell by the title, right now I am doing a COVID test um, for my surgery because I am about to get a tummy tuck done next week on the 30th. So I had to do a COVID test and that's what I'm actually doing right now. Okay, so she said the paperwork, oh she said the paperwork stays in the bag. So let me leave that in the bag. Circle around for 15 seconds. Up. Oh. So I'm gonna stick this in there. Twist this. And then she told me to stick it back in the bag. She told me to leave the paperwork in there, which I'm going to do. And she said I should get my results in one to two days, which is pretty dope. And then I could give that information to my doctor's office. Well, they'll email me, and then I'll just send an email to them. Oh, got my nose a little itchy. So let me just go up. I think I get it. This is like my third time doing a COVID test. Okay, so I put the thing in there. And let me just um, sanitize my hands. Oh, jump, my sanitizer is in my other purse. Cause I got on my little fanny pack today. With the outfit that I got on. Okay, so anyways guys, as you read by the title, yes, I am getting a extended tummy tuck procedure. Where of course, if those of you who know what a tummy tuck consists of and what it is, you know, go do the research on it, you can always Google it, look it up. Um, but I'm getting the super extended tummy tuck. Um, and I was honestly supposed to have this, y'all, like after I got the sleeve. Cause you know, my followers who watch my videos know three years ago, um, I got the sleeve. Um, how long has it been? Three or four. I got it in 2019. 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Four years ago, actually, I got the sleeve. So, May, I mean, June 29th will make four years since I had the sleeve. And I feel like I've done pretty good. I didn't really get um, a lot of my weight back. I mean, of course, I've gotten a little bigger now only because I just had a baby seven months ago. Um, and I actually lost a lot of weight, actually, I, after I had my baby. Um, I felt like I lost most of my baby weight when I first had my baby, like maybe like three, four months after I had her, I was actually a really good size. And then I felt like the last, I felt like soon as I decided to pop in that birth control, I started gaining weight. So I gave the birth control at least like two months. And when I seen that it was making me gain weight, I'm sorry y'all, I had to take it out. Cause that, 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 birth, that birth control really made me gain weight. I mean, I didn't get big, like real big or nothing like that, but I definitely seen that I had gained um, weight. So. I literally had to take that birth control out. And um, I am right now on a low carb diet and I just wanna lose even more, like a couple more pounds. I wanna lose at least like 10 more pounds before I have my surgery. So my surgery is in like another week. So I've already lost um, a couple of pounds or whatever. So 
I just want to lose like 10 more and I know I can do it you know like you know in another week <laughs> um so yeah I'm not eating at the seven I'm eating low carbs I'm staying away from bread fried foods um I'm staying away from rice and pasta um all that good juice potatoes I don't want none of that I don't want bread I don't I just want I'm gonna be just on low carbs um and then I'm gonna try my best to just stick to like uh, chicken or shrimp, fish. I'm not even eating beef because I feel like beef packs a lot of weight on you. Um, uh, yeah. And you know what? I said I'm staying away from beef, but you know I forgot. My boyfriend cooked some sausage and I ate some sausage yesterday morning with some fruit and eggs. I shouldn't have ate that sausage because I, I forgot about it. But yeah, so from here on now for the next week. I would not be eating any sausages. I mean, no type of beef. I'll eat chicken, shrimp, fish, you know, crabs. <laughs> but yes, guys, so that is what I am doing. And um, I'm really excited. You know, I prayed on it. And I know that it's going to be a really good thing. I know I already know I'm going to have a speedy recovery because I just prayed and I just, you know, I just know that. Um, but yeah, right now. So today is my mom's birthday party. Say hey, Trey. Look, my man, he is working. He's in his zone. So when he working in, he in his zone, y'all. Oh, should we get one of these? He ain't trying to talk. He ain't trying to play the games, but okay, I'm going to be back at y'all. here I had to take off all my clothes for the lady that does the garment um for the the, the binder because I'm getting the extended tummy tuck so I'm getting the super extended tummy tuck with two areas of lipo which are my flanks and um yeah so basically she took I had to stand in front of this blue navy blue thing right there and I had to get like fully undressed and I had to take pictures um so she took pictures she took about maybe like six to eight pictures of me from different angles and then I was told she was gonna show me exactly what this binder looks like I have to wear like a stomach binder for the tummy tuck I've already paid for I had to take I had to pay for a drug test which was $25 which I was never aware until yesterday um I mean I don't do any type of drugs I don't smoke child I barely even drink um and yeah so i had to pay 25 dollars for a drug test i haven't got the drug test done yet they said it'll be i think they said i'll do it tomorrow and then um what else i paid 120 for my binder and um i had to just go get my boyfriend something because i had something of his in the car and he just been waiting for me for like the last hour a little over an hour he's been waiting on me um, so I had to go give him something and then I just came back in. She told me that the nurse, she said it's, she said I was the last patient for today. She said that the nurse only had, she's with the one person that's before me. And then she said after that, she'll come right to me. So I'm just waiting because I'm kind of like over and I'm ready to go. I'm hungry. Um, I have not eaten anything. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, um, that paperwork have you so like, Girl, it kind of feel like you're signing a dang on life off and it'll have you kind of nervous because everything in the paperwork, like, oh my God, it can lead to this, it can lead to that, it can lead to this. But I just said, I rebuke all of that in the name of Jesus. I won't have to deal with no complications. 
and I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my mind, body, soul, and spirit. So make sure when you're having a surgery, you pray, 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 pray. Try to stay calm. Try to stay positive. Um, if something really is just telling you don't do it, then of course don't do it. But nothing is telling me that. Um, you mean I know like the enemy may try to get in your head, you know, try to make you feel like um, you crazy or you shouldn't do it. But other than that, I know I'm good. Um, I know that I'm good. And yeah, I just really hope that the surgery doesn't go over two and a half hours because see my coordinator, she told me that the surgery should only be about two and a half to three hours. She said two to two and a half hours, maybe three. But then the girl that just walked me back here earlier, she said three to four hours. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to ask the doctor. I mean, I hope it doesn't go past, honestly, two and a half. I really do. Um, and yeah, I'm just praying that I have a speedy recovery. Um, I'm praying that I wake up good, healthy still. Um, no complication, no setbacks or anything like that. I pray that my body, um, you know, adjust to everything that's going on. I pray that God and his angels are performing this surgery and with these doctors and these physicians and directing their their hands where they need to go. And I pray that um, the Holy Spirit just hover over me, hover over me as I'm in this operating room and through this whole experience i'm just praying that the holy spirit just be with me not just me but my my boyfriend my children my family um yeah i pray that the holy spirit just be with me and i know i'm gonna be okay though and yes guys so i am documenting this experience so you guys can see like i did with my sleeve procedure when i recorded that um and yeah bye bye to this this little baby pouch bye bye to you because my stuff is not big right here it's just a little baby pouch right there it's not big all up here and stuff like that so yeah this will be the last day honey i have this little baby pouch boo hi guys so i am here at my um this today is surgery day oh my god y'all i feel like my lips have gotten so darker and then I think like this stuff I've been using on my face to like wash my face and moisturize I feel like it is um it's brightening up my face but it's making my um, looks look darker I'm probably gonna have to stop using it honestly it's not like doing my face any good justice I don't like how it has my lips dark and then when I eat something that has like dark colors in it it makes my lips look my lips look extra dark as if I'm like smoking or something and I do not smoke um but yeah guys so let's get my here this is me I'm just waiting for the doctor right now guys again today is March 30th it's about 9 57 I'm at 8 57 they told me to get here at 8 30. They've already did the drug test. They've already did the breakthrough test. Everything was negative. All my labs were perfect. Um, the anesthesiologist came in here. He was just talking to me. The nurse is in here with me. She took my pressure and all that stuff. Everything is good, which I am very thankful for. Um, I know that I'm going to have a good, sweet recovery. She was like, This is worse than C section. I'm like, uh, Are you dead sure? She was like, yeah, because with the C-section, you got to go through the skin, and you got to go through this, and you got to go through that, and you got to go to the uterus, and then get the baby, and then you got to sew up that, then sew up this, and sew up that, and then sew up the skin. And she was like, with the tummy stuff, we're really just going through the skin, and then we're just tightening up your muscles and sewing it back. I'm like, okay, I guess so. But yes, guys, all my family has been covered in prayer. I have myself covered in prayer. My friend and family covered in prayer. My men got me covered in prayer, and I know God got me in the palm of his hands. Um, and yes, guys, I'm going to let you guys see um, what the final results are like, I guess. I'll probably have my boyfriend vlog for me, depending on how I feel. But I got a feeling that I'm going to be up, and I'm going to be alert, and I'll be okay. Of course, I won't be able to, like, get around so much. But I got a feeling that I'll just be up, um, just chilling and stuff like that. Um, and I'll probably be like hunched over a little bit because that's what everyone keeps saying. But yeah, I will get back at you guys. Oh yeah, I do have my compression um, 
stockings on y'all let me let you see i do have those on and this head thing she could cover up more but i got my hair and it's like big ball so yeah and y'all try these edges trying to go back in after having a baby girl they came out bad um this is my bag with all my stuff in it what i'm gonna wear and so i'm always gonna sit with my legs popped up so i'll be just sitting here waiting for the doctor to come mark me up bye see y'all when i finish i'll probably come back right before i gotta go in so guys i am vlogging with my phone and um oh gosh okay i'm so sorry guys that i did not vlog yesterday this is actually day two i was just getting used to all of this stuff y'all i didn't even i wasn't able to vlog at all so these are my dreams i'm at my post-op appointment this is the day after surgery. And I think they're gonna come tighten this thing up. I believe. This um this uh thing is so bunchy. This like it's actually too big for me. See y'all, it keep rolling up. That's not even like my stomach or anything. It keeps rolling up. I don't know why my phone keep going dark like that. I hate it. Sure. I can record you doing this stuff. I can do this at home. And you'll do that. You can do this in the toilet. Mm -hmm. In the toilet, you can throw it out. What the um? Mm -hmm. But it just has to be flat. It can be flat this way, or it can be flat this other way. But I don't know. Let me see. It can be flat this way, or, or like this. So it's more coming out of there? It was more coming out of this one. And there's always going to be one that drains more than the other one. I've seen some like little yellow looking fluids, but mm -hmm. she said, I guess that's just. After after a while, they're going to the instead of it being red, it's gonna come out like a strong yeah. color, like that yellow that you yeah. see. This thing. Um, How do you feel? Um, oh. Would you feel lightheaded leaving me for down here? Who's the one covering your belly button? Keep the belly button clean and dry. Soap and water. Well, don't do anything for the first few days, for until tomorrow. But then you can do soap and water. And I don't know why my belly button looks so long. The more you walk, the more you'll see these drain, which is good. You want this to drain. And um, I'm just sitting here chilling. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling. Yeah. I'm about to take a shower in a little bit um, when my boyfriend get back. Well, I'm going to take like a rinse off or whatever because I don't want to like mess with my um my cut. Um, 
But yeah, guys, I'm just letting you know. Now I just took my Tylenol. I'm not even taking my um those pills, those uh, oxycodone pills that they gave me, because I'm just fine. I don't really have to take them or whatever. Um, I'm not in pain. I'm sore, but I'm not in pain. So yeah, um, I've just been taking those. You guys probably hear that washer. My mom is washing and drying her clothes. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm waiting for my boyfriend and my baby to get back and I just talked to my children Moon and Andy they're with their dad I just was FaceTiming them and um, they're doing really good they are um, you know just having fun with their dad and Moon was like oh mommy let me see your stomach <laughs> that girl is a trip but yeah